Everybody followed us around. Next year I came, he had a Corvette. I said, Steve, what happened? You sure you sure go moved up? Maybe it was the opposite. He had a Corvette and went to the horse, I think. Sort of. had horses. I said, Well, you're going backwards. Yeah, that's what it was. One year he had a Corvette, or one time, the next time with the horse. He was all right, though. I'll tell you one story on Steve. He called me after my mother died, and he had yeah, real as she died. And he, I had no idea of this, but he said to him, she was always nice to me, which everybody wasn't. But he made that huge. She was special because she was always nice to me and never treated me differently. Yeah. One time Steve came to school, we had two different shoes on. They were the same color, but two different shoes. I said, Steve, what were you doing this morning? He said, the funny thing about it is I have a pair at home just like Right. Cowboy, yeah. Oh, he had all kinds of there are all kinds of articles. Oh, no. right. 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 Right.
Yeah. We were in pharmacy school together, and uh, he and a friend of ours, uh, well, they got married too, they were both pharmacists, and he was friends with Dick, I was friends with Linda, and Linda and I were sitting in a physiology lab, and they walked in, and this is the story he tells. <laughs> they looked back and said, where do you want to sit? And he said, well, there's two cute chicks over there, let's, let's go sit with them, and so uh, we'd have to have them go get our frogs because I couldn't handle those things. And I took paper towels and I said, put this paper towel. <laughs> I know it. This is our son, Andrew. And uh, we had a daughter also. She passed from leukemia about 30 years ago. We still miss her. Yeah. Go ahead. Stand up and say your name at least. <laughs> Mary can't stand up. She's got a bad leg. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, were you talking to me? No, I'm talking to you. Go ahead, Mary. You don't I, have to stand up. You don't have to stand up. I'm Mary Walker, but I'm with Don. Yeah. <laughs> you know that he knows who Mary Walker is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're all trying to figure out what. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good fella. Yes, he is. Yeah, yeah. You want to shout out your name, Don? Mark Feller. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking behind your back. You Don't be back. Yeah, back. Come on. Let's go to the back. This guy here is phenomenal. 37 years I've been there. <laughs> All right. My name's Roger for me, and I live in uh, Baltimore County, towards the Maryland, Pennsylvania line. I've uh, been there probably, what, 50 years we've been there. Mm -hmm. It was her mother's property, and before that, it's her uncle's property, so the property has been in her family's for over 100 years. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, <coughs> Washington is still one of my favorite places to come to. Yeah. 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 How could it not be? It's a long way to go. Yeah. Way to go, Roger. Good deal. Absolutely. All right, Mr. Gay. Benjamin Gay from Princeton, West Virginia, and I'm been gone from here about 70 years now. <laughs> they won't let me come back until after dark. Yes, now. Yes, now. He's given one age. Well, he wasn't even old enough to be gone. He was gone before he was, he was born. He was just a kid. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what I said. His mouth was moving. Uh, oh, yeah. There you go. Hey, don't interrupt people. <laughs> Yes. Sarah, Sarah Allison uh, is Colonel uh, Zembry. Yeah, I've been in Tennessee for the last 25 years. I so love being back with my peeps. Thank you. That's it. Go ahead, Larry. Uh, Larry Clark, I've been down in Florida. I've been there since uh, New Year's Day of 1964. Miss West Virginia. Uh, I've been here with everybody. She can tell you how to tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> well, after this, her while you're out. Yeah. I'm sorry? After this, her while you're out. She's, this is Georgie. She's my side angel kid. from God. She's my side, side kid. <laughs> she lives in about eight houses from me. Uh, I've had a few rough years. I lost my wife in 18. I lost uh, my brother Ray in 19. My brother Bill in 20. I just lost my sister and her husband. So I'm the last of five. Uh, She's a widow, and we got to talking and a little over a year ago, and so uh, we've been together ever since. And uh, I've never been on a cruise. She talked me into going on a cruise, and damn, it was fun. <laughs> We're going again in uh, See, this Boston. is the best part of your speech. <laughs> That, that's the reason, that's the reason, what's that? What's the best part of your speech talking about Georgia? Yeah, there you go. Uh, she, uh, she loves to go to, go to the casino. Uh -huh. So, of course, when I needed to find her on the boat, I just went to the casino. There she was. Does she always share her earnings with you? Well, I'll tell you what, I, I must say. But she looks stupid. <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe she is. She's with me. You know? <laughs> well, let me tell you what. No, I think she, I think she wins. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I have a funny show. I tell you, we're we're at the casino and uh, we go in the room and she said she had uh, cashed in some money and she had three hundred dollars. And she said to me, she said, "Did you find that three hundred dollars? I put the safe." I said. Never saw any $300. So she said, well, I just put it loose in the safe. So 
I said, I don't know, maybe you dropped it in the casino floor or whatever. So we went to, they went to the manager. She said she lost money, and of course, that they give you this weird, you know, yeah, you, right. you know someone's going to pick up right here, right? Did anybody turn in three So we get back home. Well, we each had a pouch for our passport and all this. And mine is like gray and hers is like beige. And I open my pouch when I get home. Guess what's in my pouch? Oh, yeah. 300 bucks. <laughs> you know what her comment was? Damn, I didn't have that to, to gamble. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. But you get it back to it. Oh, well, I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I get it back to it. Yeah, it was Tim. Why does it carry it for you? All right. Thank you. You've been blessed. Well, I just want to say I have to leave. Okay. I need to leave. But I hope I'm going to have to leave. I hope I'm going to have to leave. All beer. We, we do. Okay. I'm Nancy Morgan. Right to see you all. I've been in Charlottesville, Virginia, for the past 30, about four years. But I'm spending many weekends in Marlinton with my sister, and we are trying to get control of the home, our family home, which is full of all my parents' stuff from the time they moved here in the 40s to their parents' stuff <laughs> and to everything else. I have more stories, more history, and more anything, and I go to the dump a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Well, don't call me. Uh, I can't do anything. Right? <laughs> I can't. Now. I can't. You want to, Sandy? You want to say anything or not? Me? Yeah. Hey, Bernie. No, I was fifteen the first time I went out with him. So I was young and dumb and stayed that way. I guess. Are you sixteen? You all started dating, Esther. You don't know how blessed you've been, girl. <laughs> oh. I'm just okay. 